Well, New York Waterway unveils its upgraded commuter ferry in Weehawken today. They say it's helping the environment, saving on fuel, all while adding passengers to each trip. News 12 New Jersey's Keith Kaczynski is at the Port Imperial Ferry Terminal with all the details. Hi, Keith. Hey, good afternoon, Tony. So we are aboard the Hoboken right now, which is one of six of those ferry boats that you described that have been upgraded, of course, with new engines. But if you take a look behind, you can see brand new seats and seating capacity has increased by 60% on these ferries. It doesn't stop there. New structural changes to the boats as part of that upgrade. And over here, the boat's helm has been retrofitted with new technology, uh, technology that I couldn't even begin to explain to you. But nonetheless, those engines that I had described, they are, I'm told that they will decrease emissions by 70 to 80%, also using 25% less fuel. And earlier today, New York Waterways held a press conference to unveil the new retrofitted ferry made possible by a $12 million federal grant with the assistance of New Jersey Transit. They say this is just the beginning of innovation as they also hope to electrify their fleet in the future. We're actually trying to develop plans right now to hybridize one or more of our vessels. But, you know, these things take time and you have to go in, in, in incremental steps. You know, it, I think it'll take, uh, it'll take another 10 years before you even get to a whole hybridized fleet. Yeah, they expect that complete retrofitting process to take about two years to complete all of the six ferries that are part of those upgrades. With the latest here in Weehawken, I'm Keith Kosinski, News 12 New Jersey. All right, Keith, thank you very much.